Well, it may be just a soccer ball, but for a 16-year-old Japanese boy, it's the only memento of his past. He lost everything in last year's devastating tsunami. Until now. As Chris Brown explains, the ball was found thousands of kilometers away in Alaska. Everything 16-year-old Masaki Murakami owned was washed out to sea in last year's tsunami. But at least, his name was on his favorite soccer ball. I would never have imagined, he said, that my soccer ball could have traveled thousands of kilometers to Alaska. Ocean currents carried the ball all the way to tiny Middleton Island, where a local radar operator, David Baxter, found it and a volleyball. His Japanese-speaking wife, Yumi, read the inscription, Good luck, Misaki Murakami. If they lost everything, maybe it could bring a little bit of joy back to his life, you know. I have yet to recover even one of my personal belongings, he told Japanese television, so I am really happy about this. Tons of debris from last year's tsunami is floating slowly towards North America, but stuff pushed by the wind is starting to arrive now, like that former squid boat the U.S. Coast Guard used for target practice last month. Here's a styrofoam buoy. In Alaska, biologists have started a project to search the beaches and to test the early arrivals for radiation. The same on B.C.'s Haida Gwaii, where the village of Masset has its own testing equipment. We're seeing all kinds of foam, foam products, uh, we're seeing a whole bunch more floats. Most of it's junk that no one would ever want back. But John Irwin at BC's Maritime Museum says they're setting up a website in English and Japanese to showcase what washes up and help reunite people there with any keepsakes. It's important to raise awareness of this tragedy and the magnitude of the tragedy and perhaps uh, bring some hope and in, uh, back into the lives of some of those that lost so much. This is an all-too-rare happy ending, but who knows, there may be others. This somewhat deflated kid's ball drifted onto the B.C. coast, and there's a girl's name on it, Arisa. So, if it looks familiar, the ball's on Haida Gwaii. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.